arctic dipole and uh, a switch gear phenomena kafi news mein hai and things are changing now i mean elino type of something is there or indian dipole type and it's impacting the ice cover it's impacting some aspects of marine biodiversity in the arctic region aap pehle sun lo then i'll give you the notes on this so it's like this say this is uh, north america we have greenland iceland there is some island here i will name it afterwards then we have and that goes into kola peninsula all the way towards siberia okay the arctic ocean greenland iceland this is an island called as fram island yahan par hai it's called as fram f r a m fram island this is the siberian arctic somewhere here we have the barents sea this is north america this is the a uh, canadian arctic arctic aur yahan ka sea ka naam hai is called as a beaufort sea or bering sea is not in the arctic okay aur thoda sa bahar hai so this is the bering sea ye kya sea hai this is water body is what this passage is the bering strait to ye kaun sa sea hai this is chukchi sea name of tribes chukchi tribes now this is the arctic ocean and uh, this is your norwegian sea now for reasons not very well known this area and this area there is a dipole here we have a high pressure system here and we can have a low pressure here and they can switch as of now since 2007 onwards this area has had a high pressure and this area has a low pressure is a difference of pressure between the canadian arctic and the siberian arctic a high pressure abhi hai okay and this is the low pressure and every 15 years approximately ye change ho jata hai so last time 2007 mein the canadian arctic had a high pressure the siberian arctic has had low pressure now 2022 23 onwards okay this is going to change okay almost changing types hai yahan par so this will now change canadian arctic will have a low pressure and siberian arctic have a high pressure acha when you have got high pressure okay cyclones hote hain high pressure anti cyclones hote hain how do the winds move on the surface uh, northern hemisphere mein clockwise anti clockwise cyclones are clockwise anti clockwise हेमिस्फेयर साइक्लोन आर एंटी क्लॉक वाइज सो एंटी साइक्लोन विल बी क्लॉक वाइज सो अगर ये हाई प्रेशर है रियलाइज दिस विल बी मूविंग लाइक दिस दिस इज द डिरेक्शन ऑफ द विंड क्लॉक वाइज हेयर एंड इफ दिस इज लो प्रेशर इट विल मूव एंटी क्लॉक वाइज लाइक दिस थिंक ऑफ सर्फेस ओके सर्फेस में एयर यहां पर ऐसे घूम रहा है और यहां पर ऐसे घूम रहा है ऑल ऑफ दिस विल फोर्स the arctic waters to converge like this it forms what's called as trans arctic okay currents so arctic ocean make aisa chalta hai current because of this high pressure like this here and this low pressure this two pressure system will turn the water like this and the water will converge and is a trans arctic current moving like this which passes through this passage is called as fram strait bolte hain fram strait this is what has been happening for some time now iska do teen consequence hai the consequence ye hai that at remember this this one has a very powerful uh, gulf stream and norwegian current here yaad aa raha hai aapko now this water pushing it can go through this passage or it can go through this passage this passage leads to the bigger arctic this is a small sub inlet called as the barents sea and the kara sea okay so when this is strong when this is strong this water comes like this okay and the currents from here they enter 
लाइक दिस ये ऐसे चले जाते हैं दिस इज वॉर्म वॉटर्स वॉर्म वॉटर्स एंटर्स द बैरेंट सी द बैरेंट सी कैन बेल्ट प्लस इफ रिमेंबर द आर्टिक ओशन हैज लॉट ऑफ रिवर्स ड्रेनिंग फ्रॉम साइबेरिया द बिग बिग रिवर्स यू गॉट ऑब रिवर Yenisi River, Lena River, lot of big big rivers are here, and they bring lot of fresh water. So this water entering here can melt some amount of ice. Rivers bring fresh water, but ये जो circulation है, this one here, this can drag the fresh water from this side towards the Canadian side. So what this does is, in the upper parts you have got fresh water. Which is still cold, not warm. ये cold है अभी भी cold है. ये light है. So if you look at the vertical cross section here, ocean का temperature and salinity. Above layers, Arctic में क्या है? Ice है. Okay. Layer below this is fresh water. Okay. इसके नीचे there is relatively warm and there is saline water. आर्टिक रीजन में द सर्फेस वॉटर हैज लेस सॉल्ट जीरो सेलिनिटीकमस्टैंड ब्राइन रिजेक्शन राइट ओके सो द सर्फेस वॉटर विल हैव आइस ओके लेस सॉल्ट इसके नीचे फ्रेश वॉटर है ओके विच अगेन इज लेस एंड बोथ ऑफ दम हल्का लाइट है एंड इसके नीचे यू हैव गॉट वॉर्म वॉटर सलाइन वॉटर सो एंटार्क्टिक वॉटर्स जो है वो ऊपर नहीं रहता बिकॉज एंटार्टिक वॉटर इज वॉट इट इज वॉर्म एंड सलाइन वॉटर्स इट गोज डाउन एंड दिस इज हाउ एंड बीच में देर इज अ ट्रांजिशन जोन इफ यू नो और रिमेंबर समथिंग कॉल्ड एज थर्मो एहलाइन लेयर्स दे आर एरियाज ऑफ ट्रांजिशन ऑफ टेम्परेचर ट्रांसफर ऑफ डेंसिटी एंड सो ऑन सो दिस इज अ वेरी गुड सिस्टम गर्म पानी नीचे है ऊपर ठंडा पानी so when this water moves towards the canadian side okay there is fresh water here but still cold and the warm water doesn't come up because upar nahi aata hai this area has good ice formation is like the fresh water from here goes towards the canadian side and i've got very good ice cover here so from 2007 say abhi tak this was existing but two things are changing number one the water of these currents have become more stronger and become more warmer when they become more warm they are entering and melting the barents sea even more and the water is no longer really cold like it used to be okay one number two this warm and saline water is also going down and this water also became more and more warm number 3 this dipole will change when this dipole changes kya hoga this fresh water will no longer move towards this as efficiently so ice formation now will become less okay abhi tak there was global warming abhi tak we did have problems okay of arctic amplification The Arctic's are getting more and more warmer, but ये जब ये dipole change हो जाएगा, the problem will become even more severe now, because the fresh water going towards the side become less. This water is becoming more and more warmer here. This warm water, because यहाँ पर fresh water कम हो रहा है, now this warm water will start to rise up now. When this rises, this will start to melt even faster. is like a typical what's called as the positive feedback loops and this saline waters of atlantic entering in the barents sea this is converting the barents sea like atlantic ocean this is called as atlantification of the barents sea and the arctic sea jaise tropicalization ho raha hai waise atlantification ho raha hai of the arctic seas and the barents sea you have to know these relationships